first up we've got the side plank but see how I add a combination move to it lots of people just show regular positions well like for example a regular side plank but I would add another exercise with I call this my combo training exercises so you're gonna hold a normal side plank and you're gonna bring the knee in and then you're gonna fire out that's sort of like a kick martial art kick onto the side there do you see the next one we would look at is the side plank but then we're gonna go a straight leg lift and you might think oh rich I'm struggling with my belly fat looks like we're working the lower body no this core strength as well we're using lots of muscle groups engaged the more muscle groups like I say always in my YouTube videos that we can engage the more we're gonna start burning some fat okay and this was great for core strength too. make sure you do both sides next up we're gonna go plank jack so we're gonna go, this is more of a cardio conditioning exercise brilliant exercise to do there's two variations either on the hands or the elbows like I'm showing there and you want to keep the plank level and you just want to fire the feet in and out just like a jumping jack but we're on the ground really cool exercise so we're comboing exercises there we're combining plank exercise with a jumping jack that's how you get the plank jacks you see how where we're going with this start to add more types of exercises combined together and you're going to get a more bang for your buck with your fat burning exercises and last but not least coming from Japan the judo style push-ups very uh, tricky one if you're not used to lifting resistance or like sort of mastering your own body weight this you might find this quite hard you might just want to do easy ones where you just hold your position first that top position and then build up to actually going right down and then straight through good for flexibility keeps your abs tight hits the arms too overall a good overall body weight exercise to do. Today I'm going to be sharing with you how you can lose belly fat this very week by still eating things like ice cream. And you might be thinking, Rich, have you lost your mind? Have you gone crazy? Nope, I'm going to be sharing a great, one of my favorite flavor ice creams and uh, it's very quick to make you'll be able to whip it up just two ingredients and you'll still be able to get a trim flat belly while eating ice cream okay I can't wait anymore I've been wanting to share this video with you for the last week now here is your quick ice cream recipe here's what you need blender something like a Nutribullet I love my Nutribullet personally um, I'm not affiliated anything with them if you want to go and get one be my guest. There are other blenders out there that you can go for, but personally I've gone for a Nutribullet. I find them really, really good, smooth texture with my smoothies and recipes like this ice cream one today. And uh, so start off if you've got a blender, absolutely brilliant. Next, all you need is a cup of berries, any sort of berries you like. So if you like raspberries, strawberries, whatever, but personally recently I've been using cherries. I've got my uh, cherry phase, especially in the summer here in the UK. We're in season now for the cherries, so I absolutely love them. Get frozen ones, but then also what I do is I grab some fresh ones too and I throw them in there. Um, it just gives it a little bit of sweetness and a little bit more nicer texture, I find, with the ice cream as well. So frozen will give it that consistency of ice cream, so that's why you need the frozen berries there. If you want to add some uh, fresh ones, be my guest too. Absolutely brilliant. Then what you need is roughly a cup of coconut milk. And I say roughly because it depends what texture you like. If you want more texture, um, more of a runny texture, you want to obviously add more coconut milk to it. Um, if you want a little bit more of a thick texture ice cream, obviously you want to add less coconut milk for that more creaminess texture. Um, if you're making it for you and your partner or for your family obviously you know just double up the recipes triple it up and then you'll have more consistency or if you just really want to get stuck in and you've got a bit of a sweet tooth craving you can add uh, this also a little bit of honey goes in well with it but here's a big tip listen carefully this is important if you're adding any honey don't put it into the frozen berries because it's just going to go rock solid really quick what you want to do is add it to the coconut milk and then stir it round stir a little bit of honey with the coconut milk it sweetens it up and then add it to the berries I learned the hard way otherwise with that okay there's a little quick tip for you as well so really easy all you do is uh, add all to the blender whiz it up and then uh, stop it give it a little shake every now and then and you're good to go
Right, let's get started. Here's the move that I'm demonstrating. It's the single leg plank hold. I love these. I'm a massive fan of planks. I think they're great for core stability. People struggle with things like sit-ups and crunches because they suffer with different back problems and it can hurt their spine. This is a little bit more easier and not less and not so taxing on the spine. So this is a real perfect move for toning your abs and also your legs. You're going to feel a pinch in the back of the legs when you build when you lift them up straight here like this, but we're really focusing on that core. Do this with a very good diet and my other workouts. Do this with like a cardio style exercise. So maybe you want to do this holding five seconds each time for per leg and then keep repeating it so you've got around about a two to three minute core ab workout then after that go and do some cardio maybe you want to do some skipping you can do some burpees for a minute anything then go back to this then back to your burpees for a minute or if you're a bit newer to the exercise you're a bit more of a beginner do some of the hand taps the jogging on the spot hand taps underneath which i've shown in a previous video T types of exercises like this is definitely going to help you out feel the burn in no time especially on your abs alternating with the legs so we're really using the abs as a core stability because that's what they are they really their stabilizer muscles are abs so if we can do things to disrupt the um, the balance uh, we're really gonna have to use them more and you'll get them sleek and toned Hello and welcome, it's Richard Huntley here and if you are new to my videos you can now pick up a copy of my 7 day fat loss formula plan for free by clicking on the link here in the video or the links below this video to get started right now. Hey Richard Huntley here, let's show you a quick ab exercise to help you flatter your belly this very week. This is a really good exercise you can do, quite old school actually, it's been used for quite some years, but um, you can combine it with other exercises, it's more of a direct ab move that you can use. Do this with a good diet, the results will definitely come in. Here's the setup, check this out, make sure you stay tuned, watch. So, here's the little breakdown point. Place your hands so you're into a comfortable position, make sure you've got some room behind you. Hands slightly underneath just to support your lower back, especially if you have a little a few problems, so it's a good habit to get into. We're going to push through here like this, then you're going to come in and you're going to really boost the hips up off the ground and you're going to push up, boom, like this. And then you're going to come through straight, up, and then you're going to push up, bang, and hold through. So one, like this. You can keep the speed if you want here like this, which is absolutely fine. But if you want to just hold it into the burn, hold this position, keep the abs tight, absolutely fine. Then you're going to come in, feet together, pushing up and down. This is a really good exercise to do. I would combine that exercise there. Let's say you do that for 30 seconds. I would do that for 30 seconds. Then I would stand up. You can do your jumping jacks for another 30, and you keep supersetting. Because the jumping jacks, they're still going to work your cardiovascular, but they're not too taxing on direct ab muscles or anything like this. So you're going to give that 30, 30 seconds for your abs to recover, then you're going to go back to the ab move. Really going to hit the lower abs on this. So if you want to start to get a flat belly this week, this is definitely a good exercise for you to try. Hip bumps with leg pushes up and down, just like I showed you and then for 30 seconds, and then maybe try a jumping jack, high knees, fast hands, anything you want for the little cardio, 30 seconds just to give you a little rest on the abs, then go back to this. Keep repeating up to five minutes, 10 minutes, 15 minutes, totally up to you, however much time you have spare. The best thing to do is something than nothing, then the results are gonna to start to come in. You'll see the results come in, you'll look at your, your plan, you'll say, oh, this is working for me, I'm gonna to stick to this. Then when you start to plateau, a little tweak, see what works, you're like a mad scientist, see what works, and then you're gonna continue with this. This way, you're gonna find that like, success leaves clues. That's like one of the old sayings, success leaves clues. So what's, whatever's working for you, stick to that until it doesn't really work, then start to tweak things into it, and then until you get the results rolling back in. It's the same with your diet, and over the weeks, your belly will go down, you'll start to see some fantastic results come your way. Hope that really helps you out today. If it has, make sure that you like and share this video, and uh, if you want to pick up a copy of my Fast Track Fat Loss, People are losing £10 14 first days. You can click on the link below and it's definitely going to help you out with that. Hope you enjoyed this video and uh, see you in the next video. Have an amazing day. 
For more fitness, fat loss and motivational videos, please like, share and subscribe to my YouTube channel. To drop more fat this week, you can pick up a copy of my 7 day fat loss formula plan for free by clicking on the link here in the video or the link below these videos. Have a great day.